Welcome to the broadcast, everyone. It's the start of a new season for Lakeville North Boys Hockey, and this is Coach's Corner, a weekly broadcast that provides insights and updates into Lakeville North Boys Hockey. Well, the season's underway. Uh, the toe is in the water, so to speak. Had a fun weekend of hockey, cloquet, and uh, we had cloquet and tonka, actually, this past weekend. Um, I believe it was the, uh, the, the the beginning, if you will, up at Bloomington Ice Gardens, where they called it. They referred to it as the opener. Um, so talk a little bit about the opener, the game with Cloquet and the game with uh, Tonka. Takeaways from the weekend, just general thoughts about what you saw from this new team on the ice. Well, ironically, I just had that conversation with our kids um, in terms of just a, a wide lens view of the weekend. Uh, you know, I tried to explain to them that, uh, you know, in sports you have the event itself, um, you have a result of the event, and then you have kind of the the, the opportunity to reflect on those results. And, and so as a coach, it's no different than a player. We prepared, um, you know, we went and played two hockey games, and then you get to sit back and kind of look at that and mm-hmm. absorb your takeaways and, and, and where you go um, from there. And by and large, I guess if I just, you know, figuratively said, was it a good or bad weekend for the program, it was clearly a step forward. Okay, okay. Um, I'm not a big rankings guy, but, you know, you're playing supposedly the seven and the number one, and you know whether you view us as a 12 or a 20 or 19. I've heard all those things, but uh, you go in there and basically you're going to play two good hockey teams, and you beat one and you compete, kind of short staffed against another one. Uh, so uh, the, the large takeaway is a great step forward. Anytime you get a chance to play really good hockey teams, I think you probably learn more um, than if you were to play a lesser opponent. So uh, we got kids a ton of experience who hadn't had a ton of experience. And uh, I think we I think we showed that uh, if we do the work, we have a chance to be a pretty good team. Good. Good. Final question for you, Coach, here in uh, the Coach's Corner. Um, maybe talk a little bit about the makeup of this team, um, who you expect your leaders to be for the coming season, and at the end of the day, what, what is the formula for success for uh, the Panthers here in 2018-2019? Well, actually, I love that question because uh, it's, it's kind of become apparent to me over my eight years here how important chemistry is. Um, you know, I always tell people there's a there's a there's a talent default level, meaning if you don't have any stuff to be good, but if you have it, that next piece that's really critical is the chemistry. So, um, and and uh, you know, we've gone years where we've had it dialed in, we've, we've struggled with it some other times. Um, and anytime you're piecing together 20 individuals with their own egos and and uh, different competitive natures, it's tough to get that. Um, obviously, from a statistical standpoint. You know, the, 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 the guys that jump off the map are Smith and Griffin and Schneider. Um, Cole Pearson's a solid returning defense, but our goaltenders are back with a ton of experience. Um, you know, but those are the kind of names that you'd recognize if you come back to a game this year. Um, beyond that, I think kind of the formula for success is the growth of the guys that haven't played a ton. We've got a lot of juniors that uh, got a taste of it last year and didn't play in those critical situations where this year they'll have to. And then we've got a, uh, you know, a core of young guys that uh, are kind of making their debut last weekend that will be a critical piece of how we develop and how rapidly we develop on. So, you know, to me, we, we err on the side of having the, the talent default. So the next piece is that chemistry and how we put things together and how we work together as a group to be, you know, what I would consider a, a true team. Um, and we'll see that play out. But... Uh, like I said, I've liked the mojo early in the season. I like the support for one another on the bench. Um, I think we got some of the right kids in the right places to, to lead the group. Um, so, you know, our focus will be as much on that as it will the physical portion because, I, like I said, I think if we default to the physical part, we, we have the talent needed to be a pretty good hockey team. Good. good. Well, Coach, it's an exciting time of the year. You head into your eighth uh, season as head coach of Lakeville North Hockey. I know the hockey community is excited to watch the product on the ice this season, so good luck. Thanks for being with us here this morning. We've been speaking with Lakeville North Boys head coach Trent Eichner. Uh, Their home opener, hockey fans, is next Tuesday, Prior Lake at Lakeville Ames Arena, 5 o'clock start for the junior varsity, 7 o'clock for the varsity. We'd like to thank our listeners for listening in today and join us every week on Coach's Corner as we talk about insights and updates to Lakeville North boys hockey. Thanks for joining us, everyone. We'll see you at the rink.